Previously on Spider-Man Reign 2, Wilson Fisk, the mayor of New York City, is ruling everyone's lives by keeping a tsunami of zombies at bay with a defensive electric grid known as the way that prevents anyone from entering or escaping the city. And Fisk has launched a new salvation, a digital immortality. And Peter Parker was one of the beta testers living in a virtual reality with his dead wife, Mary Jane Watson, until a cat burglar, Kitty Cat, rescues him and brings him in front of his former nemesis, Norman Osborn who offers Peter a chance to fix everything and he sends Peter, Kitty Cat and some mini goblins into the past for 48 hours to find the key to save the future. But as they land into the past, Peter decides to save his wife, MJ. And on his journey, Peter gets confronted by Vulture and Beetle. But he brutally kills them both. At the bugle, Robbie accidentally gets killed by Jameson. And when the old Peter comes to Aunt May's house, who is blind now, she reveals her Peter is dead and she doesn't know where MJ is. Hearing the news, that this reality's Peter is dead. Old Peter gets relieved as without Peter and his radioactive fluid, MJ is safe now. But things turn worse when old Peter is confronted by Venom. But the symbiote source is his wife, MJ, and she is unhappy to see him. She was happy with her life and her husband, Peter. But one day, she found Peter dead in their room, which completely broke her, and she accepted the darkness. And MJ also reveals this isn't the first time he come into this timeline. Every time he returns, he only take more away. So now, it is time to pay for his crimes. And MJ unleashes the sinister six upon Peter. And after the brutal beatdown, they hang him over on top of a building. But that time, Miles Morales arrives on the scene, who was sent by Kingpin to stop Peter. And Miles reveals that the doomsday turmoil in the future was caused by Peter. Going back and killing this reality's Peter, it creates a paradox. And he is here to take Peter with him. But with MJ's life still at risk, Peter won't give up until he saves MJ. Welcome to Comics Tube YouTube channel. In today's video, we will review Chapter 4 of Spider-Man Brain 2. You can get the previous parts on this playlist. So if you guys are new here, please subscribe and turn on all the notifications to never miss any future uploads. Please like, comment and share. All the text and images are owned by its suspected company. You can support them by purchasing it digitally or from any offline stores. The issue opens up with Miles and Peter fighting in the air. With his huge muscles, he begins to beat the hell out of Peter. Tells him all he does is destroying things. Every time he come back, things turn worse and every time he is sent to stop him. But this time, he has had enough. He wants to take him down permanently, even if he has to kill him. Peter finds difficulties to take down Miles, so he has to go for the soft parts. But in case of Miles, there is nothing soft to hit. Every part of him feels like a stone and Miles begins to punch him left and right. Blood's coming out from all over his face. But before Miles can make the finishing blow, Kitty Cat shows up. She appears like an angel in black latex, a bell and a tail. And she refers Miles, her dad. She reveals she spent most of her life trying to run from him. But now she came here to protect the old man because she cannot tolerate her father taking Peter's life as he already killed her mom. And it shocks Miles. So Peter gets the opportunity and quickly escapes the place. And then the panel jumps in the flashback. Everyone is running, trying to enter into to the city. The web system is about to go live. Every station is broadcasting the same message. There is not enough time left. And in the crowd, a blonde woman who looks like Gwen Stacy holding little Catherine. And it seems Miles is her husband. She tries to warn Miles. The web is a trap. It is designed to capture and kill. She won't bring her daughter back there. But Miles says it's different this time. They found a way to make the way protect people. But Gwen is worried. She knows they are lying just like the last time. But Miles remains optimistic about the way. He was the one who stopped Peter. He was out of control. And now it is his responsibility to protect everyone. So by saying his goodbye, Miles leaves his family and rushes to help the people entering into the city. Little Catherine wants her dad not to leave them. But Gwen grabs her tight and runs towards the opposite. As she knows, inside the way, their life is going to ruin. Kitty bites her in the hand and she runs after her dad. Gwen tries to stop her but she lost her in the crowd.
After some time, Gwen finds Catherine, but it was too late. The barrier is closed. Gwen begs to let her through. She wants to be with her daughter. Kitty gets killed. She begins to cry. And right in front of her eyes, her mother gets vaporized outside the way barrier. And for that, she blames her dad. He left them to die. And hearing this, Miles gets shocked as he thought his family was dead. But Kitty has had enough. She jumps on Miles to make him pay. He tries to convince her daughter that her mom didn't believe that we would save them all. But Kitty tells him he could have made her come with him. She watched her get ripped to pieces when she was a child. And she died because of him. But Miles can't take that anymore. She punches her daughter, tells her that he loved them both when he was inside the city and looked outside the barrier. He was horrified, seeing all the dead bodies and then he swore that he would do whatever it took to protect the rest of the city. But Kitty isn't convinced. She believes he kept them away on purpose. He knew what would happen. She thought her father was a hero who saved people, but he couldn't even save his own damn family. All he does is hurting people. All he brings is pain and destructions. And in that chaos, Kitty was found by Felicia Hardy. She kept her alive while the entire city turned to hell. She trained her how to survive a world of heroes. Felicia became her family while her own father found a new one and didn't even look back. And hearing all this, Miles begins to cry. He thought his wife and daughter, they all were dead. If he had known, then he would save them. On the other side, Peter is looking everywhere, but there is no sign of MJ. And quickly he is confronted by MJ and her symbiote. Peter tries to convince her to fight the alien, but MJ believes Venom saved her. She tried protecting the old Peter because she still loved her Peter. But when the old Peter says he won't leave her again, it pieces off Venom MJ as he is the one who killed her husband. So she divorces him inside her. And soon Peter finds himself in an empty void and he is looking for MJ. They finally reunite and Peter tells her she has to stay away from him. She has to find a new life with someone else. But MJ tells him a life without Peter is not a life anymore. And she tries to convince him that he can change what's already happened. He will only go crazier. Yesterday already gone. Tomorrow's though, that's on him. Let the past behind and change tomorrow. They shared a kiss, but outside the world, before the Venom symbiote fully killed Peter, MJ gets hit with a sonic rifle, and it is Miles who saves both Peter and MJ from the symbiote, and then it shows several dead Spider-Mans coming from the symbiote's remain. They all got killed by MJ and her Venom symbiote. MJ is finally free. Peter tries to stop her, but MJ says he can't save his own MJ, so it's better if he return to his own timeline, save the people who need saving, and MJ leaves Peter with Miles and Kitty Cat. Peter realizes his mistake that every time coming back to this reality, killing this world's Peter Parker was a total mess. He threatens the reality, but Miles says he has done a lot of damage, but this time he may have healed the wounds too. So he opens a portal and they all enter into that, leaving the mini goblin with the sonic rifle to save this timeline. And with this, the chapter 4 of Spider-Man Reign 2 comes to a close. So which part you like the most? Please let me know on the comment section down below. And please like this video and do subscribe as this will motivate me to make more contents. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.